Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to review Doodly. Doodly is a whiteboard animation software that plenty of people are using and maybe you saw an ad on YouTube or Facebook and you're interested if it's actually worth a buy. So the first thing I'm going to share with you or like I present you our pricing plans. I will talk about some advantages and disadvantages I see in pricing plans. Then I'm going to show you the features like what you can actually achieve with Doodly and what are some things that I don't like in Doodly and what are some things I like comparing to different softwares for whiteboard animation. Now, when you come here to Doodly pricing plans, you see that you got standard version enterprise and then you get also third plan that you would see in a Facebook uh, when you would like be on a Doodly website and then there will be like retargeting ad on Facebook targeting you, you would see that you could get Doodly for one time payment. You always keep, need to keep in mind one thing that this is not all. So yes, you get a standard version on enterprise, but let's say that you would like to um, like, I don't know, use characters with the colors. But to do that, to use like Abraham Lincoln color for, I need to pay another $67. So it's not like okay, I'm going to pay only $69 per month. I'm going to pay another for the packages. So you always have to like in the marketplace and you can just buy here the templates and everything that you can buy. So that's something you should definitely keep in mind uh, that to achieve full potential with a Doodly, you have to pay more than just like the standard enterprise version. The biggest difference between standard and enterprise is that you're going to have more character images, prop images, video templates, etc. And that's pretty much it. I'm using the standard version because for me it's enough, but this is something you should definitely keep in mind. The one thing that I didn't like about, that I don't like about Doodly is when you're going to buy a package here, like let's say standard, then right away you're going to see three pages, how they're trying to upsell you their templates. And it's a little bit aggressive in my opinion. So like I already paid you money and now you're trying to push me another free packages. Like why, you know, just give me time. And that's another thing. So the next thing you should definitely keep in mind that you don't have free trial. You don't have a 40 day, like, I don't know, free trial without no card or free account. You have to actually buy the product to try the product. But what you can do is to ask for refund. You have 30 days for that. Also, it's a software that you need to actually download for your computer and you need to have constant access to the internet. You can do it without the internet. That's like the so far the information I know. I have constant, uh, this is information I found out because I have like constant internet connection. So I can really say that you, um, that you can use it without on offline mode, but this is the information I gathered. So to go further, uh, to go the features, let me show you. What are some things I like and don't like in Doodly? The things I like is how you can work with characters. It, the ease of use is just really simple and how you can just move scenes, how you can play around with things. Uh, Doodly got a huge advantage, others don't, other softwares don't. And let me show you, this is the biggest advantage I personally see in Doodly and that's why I laugh. So let's say I'm going to upload the image to Doodly, right? Here's the image. I can click here, edit, and I can literally create a path how it's going to be painted. So this is a card and on the top right, you can see that right now I, I, I created this, the way for a pencil to go. And this is a huge thing. You can also upload GIFs here and you can op also upload your own font. This is something that you can do in different softwares. And in that regard, Doodly is really perfect. But Okay, so this, this is why I like Doodly. Another thing that I really like Doodly for, let me show you, return without saving. Uh, what you can do is to go to scene settings and you can change the background style to chalkboard, green chalkboard or glassboard. So this is also good in video scribe, you don't have these. So this is, this is a huge advantage. Uh, the one thing that I don't like that Doodly doesn't have is that you can upload your own hand. But I, I agree, there are plenty of hands that you can actually use. So Doodly got a lot of uh, hands that you can use. Now, you got problems with animation here and you don't expect that you can animate things in Doodly. It's really difficult. And the only way how you can animate in Doodly is if you're gonna use GIFs. You can upload those. So let me show you that I'm going to uh, add a GIF here and I'm going to add a car here. And let me show the preview. So voila. 
See, this is how you can animate. And if you're gonna have a black and white some GIF animation, it's really effective to use it in Doodly. The one thing that is really difficult to do in Doodly, and you should definitely keep in mind this in the transitions. If you're gonna use a lot of panning and zooming, it's kind of difficult to use and the learning curve is much, much higher comparing to the, let's say, video scribe or we don't. And I could like, I don't want to show you the video scribe and we don't and how it works. Or like, I will show you. Okay. Okay. I'm going to show you. So I got a video scribe here. Uh, I got a, let's say, video scribe to plan and to like choose how I can edit everything and how I can use the transition between the objects I have to do and I'm going to move my camera. So I'm going to click on it. Then you see the set camera to current position like this. Okay, clear, set camera. Then this is a text. Then I'm going to move right here. And okay, set the camera to this position. And I got a, the man here. And I'm going to move up like this and set camera to this position. Okay, pretty simple, pretty easy, and everyone can do it. Let, let me show you the video scribe, how it works. And I'm not paid by video scribe. Okay, we got a first, see? Now we got to zoom in to uh, this is a text. And now zoom down to the young man here. And this is how we can work with video scribe. In, on the other hand, on Doodly, how we can actually work with it is let disable the preview. I need to create pen and zoom here. I recommend choosing the show preview if you want to build with it. And here, it's plenty of people said this is like kind of difficult how we can work with it. So you create a start and a new. But OK, start is here. But I can really edit when it's going to end, you know? It's kind of like difficult. Okay, we have an end here. Okay, so this is how it's going to be. And straight away, so okay. I'm going to end it right here. But to, to do it on a car, it's a little bit more difficult. So right now it's a finish. And it's straight away going to paint a new scene here. So I need to create a delay here for one second to work with the zoom a little bit or even more or like I maybe know. And now I need to click on it again and you see it right here that, okay, start is going to be and end is going to be right here. And for me, this is more difficult beyond it's even easier to compare like both of these. Again, don't expect that you can actually, okay. So we need to create even more delay. So the, I'm changing the delay right here. So, okay, we got it right here. And even more delay needs to be done. So this is pretty much it, how we can work with it in Doodly. You got plenty of scenes that you can use. I really like all of scenes, op options, what you can create and how you can work with it. They got plenty of characters, but that's something that I don't like that you have to actually pay for characters with colors. In Beyond, you don't have to do it. In Video Scribe, you don't have to do it. In Doodly, you have to do it. So that's something you should definitely, definitely keep in mind. Plenty of props here that you can use, plenty of sounds, plenty of text. The one thing that I like that you can upload your own image, you can upload your own font, you can upload your own characters even, but it's you can animate here things. Also, you can do it in Video Scribe, but in Beyond, you can do it. So if you want to have uh, something with animations and you want to actually animate, I would definitely go with a beyond and like, like check that out. Again, you can uh, increase, change the delays here. You can even like create subtitles and exit animations for scenes. So that's another thing that I like. Uh, subtitles are really great if you're gonna have like a lot of scenes and let's say that you're going to have an audio in the background and you want to create a Facebook ad. And in that regard, Doodly is perfect. Now, uh, another thing that I like is when you would export the file, you have resolution for 100, 1080 and you can actually choose MP4. Video Scribe, if I'm not mistaken, doesn't have MP4. And also they have only 50 FPS and in Doodly you have 60 FPS. 
So that's another thing that I really, really like about Doodly. Uh, so that's something you should definitely keep in mind. Now, if you're going to have any questions, ask me down in comments. I don't know what else should I share with you. My recommendation is to, it's okay. But again, you have to pay for colorful collectors. The one thing, the, a lot of things that I like is that you can actually uh, animate how your objects are going to be draw. Then I'm going to, uh, that I like is that they got plenty of characters. You can upload your own characters. You can upload your own objects. You can upload your own phone, upload your own music. In export settings are working great. They got plenty of good scenes. And they got a good community. And also, uh, another thing is that the zoom pen FX, I don't really like it, but you can learn how to work with it personally. So, but if it's going to be a difficult scene, it's, it's hard. Like this is a simple scene that I created, but it's really difficult if you're going to have a scene, which is going which is going to have like plenty of objects. And in that regard, I think if you're going to work with a lot of transitions in one scene, I would go with the video scribe personally, but that's just me. So thank you very much guys for watching. If you have any questions, again, ask me down in the comments, have a great day and goodbye. See ya.